Hello everyone, my topic of the presentations for today is about the major insect pests and crops with management of the selected insect. Okay, they will have three crops there and also insect pests that have been selected. The first one is the pineapple, Demicocos repipus, and the second tomato with the insect Helicoverpa G, and the third one is the eggplant with the Mysus persicae. Okay, for the first one is the pineapple. And the taxonomy of the Dimicocus vipers and its order is the Hemiptera and the family is Pseudococidae and its common name is the Pineapple Meliba. Um, picture 1 is show the features of the Pineapple Meliba. Okay, let's move to the symptoms of the Pineapple that are infected by the Pineapple Meliba. So first is uh, the Pineapple will have the pro growth because uh, the pineapple millibug feed on the sap of the roots and also lower parts of the seam and this will cause the uh, roots of the pineapple cannot function well besides that we also can see the sooty mold grow on the honeydews that secrete by the millibugs onto the leaves and um, besides that we also the pineapple that infected by the pineapple with virus and so will have the symptoms that leaf will turn to red colors and the tips of the leaf will become withered and turn brown and the plants can be easily removed from the soil because the uh, root of the pineapple already died and the pictures too is show the symptoms of the pineapple that infected by the pineapple millibug with disease okay now let's move to the integrated, integrated pest management this first one is the con biological control uh, which is we can use the animal and natural enemies to control the uh, pineapple millibugs by using parasitic or the predators. Okay, the predators such as the ladybug beetles can directly fix on the um, millibugs while the parasitic uh, webs anagerus pseudocorti will lay eggs in the body of the millibugs and when the egg is hatched, it will go out of the millibugs and slowly mummifying and killing the meliba and this is how the biological control works and okay now let's move to the cultural control is uh, we can um, uh, destroy the end colony to reduce the spread of the meliba besides that we also can remove the field weights on the fields to uh, destroy the alternate food resources for the millibugs besides that we also can remove the alternate holes in and around the crop fields for example the hibiscus castor apple and also the guava of course we also can plant grow some uh, attract plant that can attract the natural enemies for example the marigold castor bean to attract the ladybugs beetles and also parasitic grubs Okay, for the physical controls is we can place put the uh, crown of the pineapple in the water of at the 50 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes and the purpose is to uh, make sure to produce the planting materials of the pineapple that freeze from the pineapple millibug with. Besides, of course, we also can cultivate the soil to destroy the colony of the ants because the ant is one uh, can help the spread of the millibugs so we can destroy the colony of the ant and the last one is the chemical control which we also can drip the crown of the pineapple in the dizinon mixed with the horticulture oil and if the more than 3% of the plant have been uh, infected uh, we can use the insecticide to control the millibug and ants for example using the dizinon also the synthetic pyritoid Okay, now let's move to the tomatoes with the insect pest Helicoverpa G. Okay, the order for it is the Lepidoptera and the family is not today. The common names for Le Helicoverpa is the tomato fruit worm. We have pictures 4 show the adults of the Helicoverpa G and the picture 5 is show the tomato fruit worm that feeding on the tomatoes. Okay, the symptoms of the infected by the helicopter party is they will have hole on the tomato including uh, and three holes near the end of the stem 
Besides that, feeding by tomato fruit worms will also turn the inside of the tomato become water cavities filled with molting and also insect feces. And the damaged tomato usually will be ripened earlier. And the picture 6 is show the symptoms of the tomatoes that are infected by the helicobacter G. <clears throat> okay, the APN that we can use for the first one is same with the pineapple is the pine, uh, biological control we can use the parasitoids and also the predator for it, the example of the predator is like dragonfly webs and um, praying metis and the parasitoid is the trichogamy parasite which it can destroy a large numbers of the eggs so this uh, control is efficiency at the early stage of the control and the second one is the cultural control, uh, which we can plant some plants that can attract the enemies to control the tomato fruit worms populations. Besides that, we also can plant some into crops or all around the tomato crops as the grass crops. For example, the crop that we can plant is the onion and also the cowpea. And we also can do the crop rotations to control the population of the fruit worms. Uh, we can rotate the tomato crop with the non host plants, for example, the cereal crops, could be and also the vegetable. Okay, the last one is the mechanical control plus the chemical control. Uh, how we do that is that we can install the pheromone traps with uh, four to five traps per X to control for monitoring adult moth activities. And we must replace the traps every two to three weeks to make sure the efficiency of the traps. And we can also set up one traps per egg to prevent the to trap the moth and prevent them from laying egg on the tomato. Okay, now let's move to the uh, last crop, which is the eggplants with the insect Maizu persicae, and the order is Hemiptera with the family Aphidae. And its common name is the green peach aphid. As you can see in the picture 7, it is green in color and sometimes it will can be the yellow in color. Okay, the symptom is that uh, usually we can find the aphid on the side of the leaf or the stem of the plant and it will cause the leaf become yellow or disordered and the necrostic spot on the leaf and also standard shoots. Besides that, there are also the sticky sugary substance that we call honeydews the secreted by aphid will also encourage the growth of the sooty mold on the plants and this will reduce the photosynthesis of the eggplant. And the IPMM that we can use is for the first one is the con biological control and the parasitoid that we can use is the aphidus colemani and uh, same with the previous one they also will lay egg inside the aphids and when the egg is hatched, they will go out the aphids and the aphids will die. And the common predators that we can use are like ladybugs, less wind larvae, and stray fly larvae. And this predator will direct feeds on the aphids. Okay, the second one is the physical controls, which we can uh, uh, just prune the f uh, leaf or stems that infected by the aphids and we also can do the mulchings uh, by using the silver colored plastic and it can deter aphids from feeding on the eggplants and the last one is the mechanical control plus chemical controls which we can for the first one is we can spray the leaf or shoots of the eggplants with a sprayer to knock off the aphids from the leaf or shoots and we also can use the insecticide soap um, to control, to remove the mechanical control or to prevent the, to remove the population of the aphids and also control it. And it also low toxicities to many beneficial organisms. Okay, this is uh, all about the pineapple and, the in and their insects and also the symptoms. And the last one also is the IPM, and this is the summaries from the points uh, from, uh, for the methods that I have mentioned uh, before. And that's all from me.
थैंक यूज